All right, guys, so we are on the purple carpet with a beautiful woman here tonight. Now, you just got back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's you. That's you. That's you. My, my girl's at home right now. But, but you just got back recently, about a year ago, maybe, from Sundance. I believe you were the production director. Director. Producing, producing director. director. Mm -hmm. I was close with yeah. you. Yeah. But here tonight, you are the president of BAM, a prestigious multicultural arts center. How does it feel being back in a part of such a great institution that you kind of helped build? Because prior you did work with them for a while, correct? Yeah, so it, it feels incredible to be back. Um, I was here for about three and a half years running the film program, um, and I left during the pandemic to go to Sundance. And that was a great opportunity, but when I got the call to you know, come back and, and be the president of BAM, it was just something, it just, it's like being called home. Um, yeah. It's an incredible institution with a rich history, and also it's incredibly unique to be in a cultural institution like this that's right in the middle of a community, yeah. uh, and have a space like this that is for everybody and presenting all types of art is just, it's, it's unique. Yeah, and I think you guys are doing a hell of a job. I mean, you bring together so many great people tonight. Now, I do have to ask, you always have great honorees. How do you go about selecting them every year? Because you got David Burns, Spike Lee, and of course, Claire Wood is on the board of trustees. How do you go about doing that? Uh, we really think about artists that exemplify BAM and also what we're trying to do in the, in the community and with artists. And so when I had the opportunity to think about who I wanted to celebrate, Spike Lee, David Byrne, and Claire Wood immediately came to my head. Claire has always been like my number one champion on the board. Uh, Spike, I would not be working in the arts if it were not for his work. Uh, and David Byrne was really, my, my parents first came to this country my, from Jamaica. My father was like, I need to learn about America. And it was Johnny Cash and the Talking Heads. So I grew up <laughs> listening to David Byrne. And he's just been an incredible supporter uh, over the years. And also just an incredible artist that is always shifting, always changing, and, and trying to meet the moment. And I think that's incredible. Well, I love it, guys. And hopefully when David Byrne comes here, he'll be taking over the house, but he won't be burning it down, you know? <laughs> Yes, yeah, so guys, we are with the president of BAM right here on FaceTime with Todd Warden on the purple carpet.